Hello, welcome back to Learn Economia. Today we are going to discuss the concept of foreign trade multiplier. Let's get started and see what it is. Foreign trade multiplier is also known in the name of export multiplier. And we could see that this is, some, this is something which operates in the very same fashion as the investment multiplier given by Keynes. And coming to the meaning of foreign trade multiplier, it involves the amount by which the national income will be raised by a unit increase in domestic investment or export. So we could see that there can be a rise in national income and how this rise comes. This rise in national income would be coming as a result of investment on export. So first we have to start with investment. So there would be an increasing investment in some sector and this will lead to increase in production in that sector. Whenever production in that sector increases, we use that for exports produce item would be exported and when export increases our income increases which would be the national income so this is how it happens we just look at the change in income the change in income that happens as a result of change in investment so as to export something a change in investment which results in the export of some good now as I was telling, when export increase, there would be an increase in income. And also, this would increase the income of all the people who are associated with such export industries. For example, just, un just suppose that there are 150 per persons working in some industries which produce goods for export. So, there would be an and there would be a rise in the income of these 150 persons. The income of these 150 persons would be increasing. Here we could see that we deal with creation of demand for goods which is dependent upon the marginal propensity to save and marginal propensity to import. And these two ideas or these two concepts are very very important as far as foreign trade multiplier is concerned. What will happen to the values of marginal propensities and how would it affect the foreign trade multiplier? Here we could see that whenever these two values, whenever these propensities, whenever these are smaller, the value of multiplier would be larger, larger the value of multiplier. And vice versa, there exists a kind of inverse relation. How does foreign trade multiplier work? I was just giving you an introduction regarding the working of foreign trade multiplier in the introductory section. But that is not enough. Just look at how it works actually. Suppose we have to understand that there is an export increase. So export is increasing. When export increase, what happens exporters would be selling their items to foreign nations and that will make their income to go up. And in order to meet foreign demand, what they use, what they do is that they use more factors. Their demand for factors would increase. Demand for factors. Again, we could see that what happens when the demand for factors increase. Demand for factors increase means they produce more. Production would increase. And again, when production increase, this can lead to export. And again, when export happens, there would be an increase in income. We could see that whenever we use more factors of production, whenever the producers demand more factors of production, 
definitely the owners of factors of production would get increased work. and definitely this will continue the process would definitely continue as i was telling earlier it is a chain process and it will continue and national income would increase and how much it would increase by the value of the multiplier and the value of the multiplier as i was telling earlier would depend upon the marginal propensity to save and marginal propensity to import and the relation also would be inverse now let's understand the working with algebraic explanation we know that the total income of the nation would be equal to c plus i plus x minus m here we are not considering the government's case this is what we can have in a simplistic model of course government's uh, spending would also be there so c means consumption uh, i means investment x means export m means imports so well, usually uh, what we mean by government's uh, cases government investment and government consumption so all would be implied here c means total consumption i means total investment x means export and m means imports by using this equation what we could see is that we know that y is equal to c plus s and for the very same reason s would be e is equal to y minus c and we can write it as y minus c that is you are bringing c to this side y minus c is equal to i plus x minus m and we know y minus c is equal to s so s is equal to i plus x minus m just bring m to this side so s plus m is equal to i plus x we could see that at equilibrium levels of income saving plus import this would be equal to investment plus export and we are dealing with a kind of open economy where we do have connection with external world so the investment component is divided into two types of investment the total investment is equal to domestic investment plus foreign investment and during equilibrium we could see that i would be equal to s and what is i i is equal to domestic investment which is id plus foreign investment that is if so id plus if would be equal to s let have this as the equation number 1 and we also know that s plus m is equal to i plus x now foreign investment here this is identified as the difference between exports and imports that is if is equal to export minus import which would be the equation number 2 and we can substitute equation 2 into equation 1 so that we will be having a scenario where id plus x minus m minus s from this we can bring we can bring this s and m to another side so that it would be id plus x is equal to s plus m and what would be the equilibrium in an open economy the open economy situation is something that is identified as a scenario with what we have considered now the foreign trade multiplier is represented here as k and this would be equal to delta y divided by delta x and we could see that delta x is equal to delta s plus delta m and 
by going for this we can divide both the sides by delta y so that delta x by delta y is equal to delta s plus delta m by delta y and after going for the entire calculation we will be at last get the value of foreign trade multiplier which is equal to 1 divided by MPS plus MPM and what is MPS? MPS marginal propensity to save and MPM marginal propensity to import we have already explained that propensity to import the value of the foreign train multiplier would depend upon the value of MPS and MPM which shows there exists an inverse relationship between the foreign train multiplier on one side and MPS and MPM on the other side that's it I hope you could understand the idea of foreign train multiplier thank you for watching and I request you to like share and subscribe to this channel for more video you can join our free telegram community by clicking on to the link given in the description box. Also, you can be a part of our Learn Economy app by downloading it. Link is given in the description box. That's it. Thank you for watching.